Did you know Photoshop has 27 blend modes? It sounds complicated, but once you understand these six main groups, normal, darken, lighten, contrast, comparative, component, you'll grasp the entire logic behind how blending works. Today, let's go through each group to see what they do, how they differ, and when to use them to create those wow effects. Let's start with the most basic group, normal, where the image displays exactly as it is, with no blending applied. Dissolve. When opacity is lowered, transparency is replaced by tiny random dots. The lower the opacity, the more visible the dots. Group 2. Darken. We'll start with the first impactful group. Darken. Where blending keeps the darker areas between layers. Darken. Keeps darker pixels. Multiply. Multiplies brightness. Light areas disappear. Image looks deeper. Color burn. Burns highlights. Increases contrast. Stronger than multiply. Linear burn. Darkens smoothly. Preserves shadow detail. Darker color. Compares overall brightness. Keeps the darker layer. Example 1. A black bird on a white background. Switch the layer to darken. The white disappears, leaving the bird blended into the sky. Example 2. Switch to color burn to emphasize dark areas. It creates deeper shadows and stronger contrast, great for ink textures or paper shadows. Group 3. Lighten. This one works the opposite way. Instead of keeping dark tones, lighten preserves the brighter pixels. Lighten keeps brighter pixels. Screen brightens the image. Soft and airy look. Color dodge. Brightens and saturates. Adds glow. Linear dodge add. Adds light directly, stronger, and more intense. Lighter color. Compares brightness, keeps the lighter layer. Example 1. Place a fire image with a black background on top. Switch to screen. The black background disappears, leaving only the flame blended naturally into the scene. Example 2. Place a smoke image over a coffee cup. Switch to linear dodge add. The smoke becomes brighter, softer, and more luminous creating a realistic, atmospheric look with natural reflections. Group 4. Contrast. This group combines both bright and dark tones to make images pop with stronger depth and highlights. Overlay. Combines multiply and screen. Enhances contrast. Soft light. A gentler version. Ideal for skin tone shaping. Hard light. Strong lighting effect. High contrast. Vivid light. Pushes highlights and shadows to extremes. Linear light. Brightens highlights, darkens shadows, sharp edges. Pin light. Keeps only extremes, removes midtones. Hard mix. Reduces colors to RGB primaries. Pop art effect. Example. The original photo looks flat, low contrast. Create a neutral gray layer. Switch to soft light. Paint with white on the forehead, nose, and cheeks. Then paint black on the jawline and neck. The result. Natural depth and smooth transitions without blurring or overprocessing. Group 5. Comparative. This group compares differences between layers, often used for alignment or checking edits. Difference shows differences. Identical areas turn black. Exclusion. Softer version, bluish tint. Subtract. Subtracts light. Dark result. Divide. Divides brightness. Pale, bluish effect. Example. Create a new layer and brighten the face area. Switch the top layer to difference. Bright areas show where adjustments took effect. Black means no change. A quick way to see if curves or dodge hit the right zones. Group 6. Component. And finally, 
there are groups of operations on each color component, usually illustrated with a color circle. Hue. Changes hue only, keeps brightness. Saturation. Keep color and brightness, just change the brilliance. Color. Combines hue and saturation, keeps brightness. Luminosity. Keeps color, changes brightness and contrast. Example 1. Select the shirt area, create a new layer, switch to color. Use a solid color fill layer and choose the color you want. Turn on clipping mask to apply it only to the shirt layer. Then add a curves adjustment to slightly increase contrast. The shirt changes tone naturally, while the fabric texture, lighting, and folds remain perfectly preserved. Example 2. Not only layers, even the brush tool has blending modes. Switch brush to color mode. Sample neutral skin tone. And softly paint over tinted glasses or skin. The color cast disappears while reflections and details stay intact. And that's all six blend mode groups in Photoshop. Once you understand how each group behaves, you can combine them freely, from color grading, creative blending, to advanced retouching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more Photoshop tutorials together. Thank you very much.